Well, the controversy over a movie about the raid that killed Osama bin Laden is back in the spotlight today. Both the CIA and the Pentagon are launching investigations into whether the filmmakers were given access to classified information. The film is set for release later this year. Joining me now, the congressman who demanded this investigation, New York's Peter King, the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you so much for being here. I want to ask you, thank because you, you were pushing for this, and now you've gotten what you wanted, but what is your evidence that any classified information was given to Catherine Bigelow, who's the producer behind it, who actually won an Academy Award for The Hurt Locker as well? Yeah, there were several things, Megan, which is why I asked for the investigation. One is, going back to May, after this raid was carried out, and I give the president tremendous credit for carrying it out, information started to appear in various uh, uh, news locations, newspapers, magazines, etc., which compromised our assets on the ground. There's at least one person I know of in Pakistan who was, has been arrested and treated very badly by the Pakistanis because of information that the administration leaked out. Then we fast forward to July or August, and it comes out that this film is going to be done. It's going to be coming out before election, which is fine, except that you have people like Maureen Dowd saying that they knew that, uh, in fact, they're almost bragging about the fact that the administration was going to give Sony and Catherine Bigelow unprecedented access to the most classified operation in history, going on about how this would be so unprecedented. So I put the two together of seeing what they'd already leaked out and what they even subsequently leaked out, like the New Yorker magazine, which actually showed the ways that our helicopters evaded Pakistani radar. And so you put all that together with the fact that this is going to be unprecedented access. I call on the Pentagon to do an investigation. And Jay Carney, the president's press secretary, dismissed it uh, cavalierly uh, at, at a press conference, say, at a press briefing, saying that I should have more important things to do than worry about a Hollywood film. Well, the uh, Defense Department did do a preliminary investigation, and based on that, the Inspector General has decided to go ahead with a full investigation over what happened as far as uh, making information available, how it was being done, what's going to happen. And so, again, I feel very vindicated on this because it was the Defense Department not just responding to my request, but they did their own preliminary investigation before they announced the, uh, a full-scale investigation. And does it happen sometimes that the Defense Department would do a preliminary investigation and then would come back and say, there's no there there, we're not going forward with the full investigation? Oh, surely, yeah. I mean, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't waste their time. I mean, they have so many other things to be looking at. They wouldn't be wasting their time on this. Uh, by going ahead with a full investigation if they didn't think there was at least probable cause to, uh, you know, to go ahead with it. If this was just me saying, you know, for the hell of it, let's have an investigation. I don't want the president getting a good film. Then, you know, if, unless there's something there, uh, again, at least probable cause, they, you know, they wouldn't go forward, no. Is there some value to releasing information? Obviously, you can't release classified information. That's clear. That's not legal. But something less than classified, you know, something that normally would be kept confidential, but the administration releases it to a filmmaker like Bigelow because for historical and documentary sake, you know, to let the American mm -hmm. people in the world know a bit more about one of the most important raids and taking out, you know, the most yeah. hated terrorists on earth. Yeah, uh, Megan, I appreciate the point uh, you're making. I would say the answer is yes, but that should be done so carefully. There should be a panel set up. You should have the uh, Defense Department, the CIA, everyone involved in special operations sitting down to make sure that nothing that's being turned over uh, can work against us. Because you may have someone in the administration not even realizing the full consequences of what they're handing over. No, listen, this was done during World War II. If we could, again, have a board which would uh, scrutinize and be very careful about what's being turned over. Well, I'll give you an example. I mean, there was information that was put out by the administration back in May uh, about a doctor who was going around give, uh, giving injections to people, and they were using that to get DNA of uh, bin Laden, uh, of his family members, to make sure that was him. Well, this was put out by the administration. Well, that doctor's in jail. The Pakistanis arrested him. And there's other instances I can give, which I'm not going to go into because it's not known yet, but, I mean, there are instances where this is really compromised us. And, again, even like the article in the uh, New Yorker magazine going into great detail how our helicopters were able to evade Pakistani radar, the routes they took, the way they went behind the mountains and all that. That's just, uh, it, they can't be doing that. Uh, it's being put out either by amateurs or people who are over eager. Yeah. And let me make it clear, I, this, this should be made into a movie. This was so heroic and it was such a tremendous accomplishment. Congressman, I, I have literally 40 seconds till a hard break, but why do you think the administration would leak classified information if they did? 
uh, they may not realize the full impact of what they were doing. Sometimes you have amateurs running the operation. Uh, I, I doubt, in fact, I'm almost certain they did not, because I was contacted by people in the intelligence community and the military saying that they were uh, really, really uh, disappointed and, and shocked by what was being leaked out. I have a, a former CIA person who was pointing out over 20 instances in the New Yorker magazine yeah. alone at all uh, of information he thought was classified and top secret. Understood. Congressman Pete King, thank you so much. Coming up.